road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Hey everyone, Dave and Allie here. Hello. We are currently driving past the exit from my place of employment. Because <laughs> um, I don't have work today, so instead we decided to go to a dead mall in Redondo Beach. <laughs> so it is currently Thursday, August 11th. And uh, yesterday, a Podcast The Ride Second Gate episode dropped on their Patreon that primarily was about the mascot of Red Robin. But my big takeaway from the episode was uh, Scott mentioned going to the Red Robin at the South Bay Galleria, but also finding there a uh, an abandoned department store just called Dinosaurs that was filled with <laughs> dinosaur statues. And since it's only a 35 minute drive to this mall, and you know, by SoCal standards, that's nothing. Yeah. I was like, honey, you know prehistoric gardens? What if we had that without all the beautiful, lush <laughs> landscaping? What if we had that without the wonders of nature surrounding it? Sounds like California. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. They also tweeted on Podcast The Ride uh, just some of the signage at this place. And it looks like there's also, like, mini golf and kitty rides available at this dinosaur's locale. Naturally. But also just a lot of information on the sign, a lot of confusing information, uh, some of which the fact that it is cheaper for an adult ticket than for a child ticket, which is so wild for like a themed entertainment experience. Yeah. Like, I guess they're just counting on most adults won't want to come without children so they can upsell on the children. But uh, they underestimate how many childless dorks who love themed experiences live in SoCal. So, so uh, I do not know what to expect here other than statues of dinosaurs. Mm, this is going to be fun either way. But, uh, you know, how how often can you go less than a 45-minute drive to... A themed experience yeah. that costs less than $10 a person. Yeah, to pay less than $10 a person to look at dinosaurs. Now, granted, again, we live in Anaheim, so if we want to look at animatronic dinosaurs, we can just use our magic keys, ride the Disneyland Railroad, mm -hmm. but that's a lot of hassle to just look at dinosaurs as you're moving past them. Yeah. And, you know, Knott's hasn't had dinosaurs in decades. Jurassic World, also a lot of hassle to get to Universal Hollywood yeah. <laughs> to ride past dinosaurs, but to just go to a place and look at dinosaurs affordably, uh... This is an opportunity we can't pass up. Absolutely. So, see, we may not have the uh, money and free time to follow in Scott's foot trips and take a flight up to NorCal for, to rent a car for a themed car wash, but we have the time and money to go a little ways away to a mall to pay eight bucks a pop to see dinosaurs. Yeah. Although we should go to the dinosaur-themed car wash at some point, too. We should, too. we should. <laughs> for now, let's just go look at the Redondosauruses. Let's do. All right, we made it to this mall, and we are parked right by the horny goth clown circus. And there, the Red Robin that fueled this entire trip. <laughs> I'm not really craving Red Robin, so I don't think we're going to eat there. Believe it or not, the COVID-19 pandemic has not made me crave bottomless fries. Especially at a place whose fries I'm not that big a fan of. Yeah. Behold, we have found it. I'm actually impressed that there's still a queue at this location. <laughs> Because didn't the one at the Brea Mall close? I think so, yeah. We also have, okay, Macy's backstage, but we have a lot of, like, non-chain stores around here. <laughs> and the American Red Cross. Of course, where I just was at today. I got my blood taken. Yes, but not at that location. Yeah. So if you look at it, it's just called Dinosaurs. But apparently the full legal name is wonder of dinosaurs prepare to be amazed yeah normally it's sort of like you know it's a cue it's a it's a, it's a sears dinosaurs yeah dinosaurs. in the fossilized bones of a jc penny or whatever i'm guessing it's the Q. like i feel like it's probably the i don't know if Q. I feel like Q only exists to fill other spaces that used to be real department stores yeah, yeah. well so far the sign is not false advertising Adult seniors military ticket includes dinosaur museum, mazes, panning, activity tables, spinning dino, height, weight, safety restrictions apply. They also covered up some information with just a wristband. Yeah. And uh, there used to be a maximum age for adults, apparently. Now it's, now it's just red tape up. 
Also, cartoon dinosaurs. Definitely not the land before three day. I love the name Rar Mini Golf. <laughs> Here come the dinosaurs. Here come the dinosaurs. This because this is a prehistoric paleolithic, uh, uh, you know, the snail shells. Perfect. Yeah. You're on theme. I didn't mean to be on theme today, but hey. Sometimes but it worked out. Along with Stegosaurus and Iguanodon, Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of three dinosaurs that inspired the appearance of Godzilla. And you can learn more about that on How Did This Not Get Made recently. Not to plug other podcasts that aren't the podcast that inspired me to uh, come here. <laughs> Two dollars for one ride ticket. Does rides include just sitting on these on these big girls? Or is it just this train ride? A dinosaur train is just combining my biggest hyperfixations as a five-year-old into one. Yeah. And uh I I would have lost my shit. I, I assume so, my lovely. But the egg carousel is out of order. Also, we got an off-brand uh, Scrat from Ice Age up there, oh, fun. alongside all the off-brand hybrids of Littlefoot and Chomper. Mm -hmm. There was blood in the fossil. Fun fact about the Allosaurus is they constantly were looking for people talking about them behind their back. <laughs> what did you say about my mother? What are you talking about? <laughs> so, the bathroom, just to let everyone out, which is a little confusing. Yeah. You go in. You say, lock the door because it's uh, unisex, but it's one stone. But you go in and you discover that it's actually a full bathroom, but all the toilets have out of order signs except for one. So it's actually a one stall unisex bathroom. <laughs> it's a one remaining stall. Yes. And all the, the sinks except for one have out of order as well, too. And if only this sink works, even though this sink is running. It's nice to see Phoebe's brother from Foxtrot all grown up. Oh, and there's Jason and Paige from Foxtrot. I like this diagram uh, of an old-timey photoman taking a picture of an even older-timey reptile. Exactly. Wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, as every old-timey photoman was known to do. Mm -hmm. You may take pictures. You can look, but don't touch it, please. Because Frank's the one in charge and he decides what every dino sees. I like how they're just kind of like plopped around. Yeah. <laughs> like not, great. not in a particularly organized manner. It's yeah. like, and the lights are dim. I feel like we're in, I feel like we're in a storage room for a dinosaur exhibit and not in the actual exhibit. Ooh, that one's moving. Oh, that one's moving a tiny bit. And they're all making the exact same very unpleasant honking. <laughs> I hate to be nitpicky, but these are not dinosaurs. When you order the LA Panorama Wish. <laughs> I'm not saying he necessarily did a bad job. I'm just saying I will never understand the decision to look at a mammoth and think, you know what voice I expect to come out of that? Ray Romano. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera just how loud the mammoth sounds are compared to all the dinosaur growls. Yeah. I love the the cotton to refer to the snow just like Yeah. It's very um Christmas village. Yeah. Hey, look at the cats. Adorable. Adorable. Oh, I saw th this one's head move. There we go. This T-Rex is moving about as much as the Bravo Farms animatronics moved when they weren't working. Yeah. Before we put the dollar in. Yeah. Its vision is based on movement. Fortunately, it's only barely moving, so it can't see itself. Exactly. A little smaller than the one that comes out of the waterfall on the ride. Yeah. But I like how compact this T-Rex is. Yeah. Next to the other dinosaurs. It's like, this is, it's a T-Rex you can take at home. It's like Paul F. Tompkins' bit about shrinking down a bear. It's just a house Rex. All right, say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
This one's wagging its tail. It's happy. <laughs> Just hearing that good old creaky. Yep. Just that good old uh, tiki room squeak. Yeah. Did you know, unlike its appearance in Jurassic Park, Dilophosaurus did not spit venom. <laughs> well, we weren't there. We can't prove that. Yes, Gilbert just made it up, but he could have guessed correctly. That one's pretty fluid. That one up there. Yeah. Relatively. I mean, its its mouth is a little. Uh, a little it's, off. it's a little slack jawed. It's doing its uh, stretches, its neck exercises. It's a yoga saurus. That's the cousin of the one on the primeval world of the Disneyland train that's like chewing its uh, leaves. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. This one's sleeping with its mouth open. Yeah. It's got sleep apnea. Yeah. Good Mother Lizard went to the cupboard. <laughs> now, Good Mother Lizard was uh, the head nun from Sound of Music, right? Yes, exactly. This one. <laughs> oh. oh, buddy. This one needs some skin replacement. This boy also has some teeth missing. Yeah, a lot of them do, though. Somebody's been playing crocodile dentist. Mm -hmm. Again, no judgment, because I saw the same thing happen to the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Uh -huh. As it was coming through the waterfall, <laughs> there was some skin flaps on its head that were exposing some mechanics, and it's like, yeah. should the water be getting into the robot like that? I think I've seen this exact, like, Velociraptor statue. This is the one that we saw in Santa Barbara? Quite possibly. I'm curious how many of these are just like off the shelf rentals and how many of them come from different organizations in their capacity as off the shelf rentals. Mm -hmm. I also like how thanks to this department store mirror pillar right here, we can just straight up see the electronic workings hidden yeah, in yeah, this yeah. rock work. Yeah. This fake rock is doing its due diligence, but then along comes a mirror to ruin the illusion. And that is definitely the thing that broke the illusion, not the exposed mechanics inside no, these dinosaurs. Oh. There's a lot of T-Rexes, which I absolutely do not blame them for, yeah. because they're, uh, they are the icons. Mm -hmm. They are the moments. Triceratops literally means three-horned face. True. Ba, ba, ba. I, I just want true with an exclamation point after every fun fact. Drone source means running lizard. True. I wasn't doubting it until you said true. Now I'm really concerned, honestly. <laughs> I swear, I read it in a book. My cousin told me. You know what the only downside about this visit is? What? We didn't bring Chris Nevergall with us. He would love this, yeah. <laughs> Chris, if you're watching, lightning flashes from the ground. Did you know? Many scientists believe that it had an average intelligence among other dinosaurs <laughs> for its time. Did you know that this dinosaur was squarely in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> This dinosaur was perfectly mediocre. Why do we have to spend all this time in elementary school learning about like the state flags and state birds and we never get to learn about the official state fossils of every state? Velociraptor walked on two slender legs. Oh you're, you're describing it like a dime store detective novel. Yeah. She walked into my office with her two slender legs and started running and uh, eating gazelles. Okay, this is actually one of the least decorated mini golf courses I've ever seen. Yeah. But also, it's, you it know... It was all consistent. It was all consistently on theme. And it's right across the room from, like, real good dinosaur statues and robots. Yeah. So, it's it's not that the mini golf is bad. It's just that it's next to better things. And that's yeah. rare for mini golf. Yeah. Behold, Jurassic Putt. <laughs> this is a statue not of a dinosaur, but of one of those little, like, plastic dinosaur toys where, you like, yeah. you, one of the little ones where, like, you pull the trigger and the mouth opens. Yeah. I just wish that was a functioning animatronic. Stand perfectly still. Their vision is based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> and this must be the activity center. Can we just start coloring or do we need to like... I don't know. ...have a party booked to uh, use these pages? I feel like it is sort of in, in implying that you need a party. This isn't big things. Book a party! Yes, but like the crayons are just... There here for us to reach like we're at a macaroni grill. Yeah. I am actually impressed that they got their own uh, tablecloths printed up with their <laughs> own branding. Somebody got some time on combat a kill basically and then put it on the cricket. Yeah. This guy had a crash landing. Oh no. Sorry buddy. Who's squawking? Are you squawking? Little guy right there. Right there. Oh the little, the little guy. I didn't even see you down there friend. 
Hey, Squawker. And again, I cannot tell if the squeaking is sound effect or mechanics. I mean this in the best way. I mm -hmm. love how janky everything is here. I, I know. It's, I want a theme park to be like on top of things with keeping their robots up to, up to date and everything. But like a little museum in a mall that I paid $8 to get into. Yeah. I, I love the spirit Halloween of it all. <laughs> Did you know Angulosaurus had a small brain relative to its size and was probably not very intelligent? Dude, he's right here. <laughs> Please do not go up elevator without a wristband. <laughs> it's a safety concern. You notice they block off the escalators. Yeah. When we walked towards it, I was not sure if it was open. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just because of the way the lights were dimmed and everything. No, absolutely. Wonder of dinosaurs second floor access. Wonder of dinosaurs third floor access. But we are not allowed to go down to Q. No, how dare us. So I think we just left the museum, so let's go to the activity center. And I think if we want to do any activities, we'd have to pay more money. But, yeah. Uh, here, here are lights that are on. No, uh, dinosaurs on surfboards is not something I expected. Look, it's no dinosaurs with megaphones, but it'll have to do. Yeah. Oh, this mini golf looks a little more decorated. There we go. This is like inflatable mini golf. But the elevator said golf clubs not allowed. How are they going to do mini golf without golf clubs? Tis a conundrum. As a responsible citizen, it's my duty to throw these away. They're not allowed here. That's cool. Here that we go. Cute. Fossil Sandbox. This is perfect. So as you probably know, I work with characters at Knott's Berry Farm. And uh, this summer, Whittles was down at the end of what they were calling the Gold Mine Trail, which was a zone just for vendors. Uh, they moved Whittles down there to try and draw more people there because nobody was going down just to see the vendors. And not many people were going down just to see Whittles either, so it was kind of a failed experiment. But every day, when I'd be hosting Whittles, I'd be talking to the vendors, and they would just be coming up with ideas for things they could do in that zone to make it better. And one of the vendors pitched they could have like a sandbox that they build like sort of fake gold nuggets into to have it be like digging for gold down by the mine backdrop that Whittles was in front of. And I feel like this is basically that idea, but with fossils. Yep. Now, speaking of some real Bravo Farms energy here. Yeah, very much so, yeah except like more genuinely educational. At Knott's all we have is panning for gold, not panning for fossils. Yeah. Fossils. Da, da, da. God, this would have been so much fun when I was small enough to do this sort yeah. of thing. Oh, they got their own uh, branded inflato house. Look at that smiley dinosaur up there on that one. I'm pretty sure that design comes straight from Weird Al's Jurassic Park video. Oh, they actually spent money on a branded Jurassic Park bounce house. I'm guessing they didn't spend money on the license to do a Jurassic Park themed experience. Yeah. I'm guessing they just rented a branded bounce house and that's the only money Universal is getting for this. Children only, please. I've been called a child many times. Bucking Dino is not operating today. Oh. Spinning Dino out of a... But, so it's a fucking Bronco ride, but a dinosaur. I love it. And here's just a fully deflated part of an inflatable gun. I, I love it. I love this. This is, this is exactly what I was expecting, and I, I appreciate it. Yeah. That, uh, the, uh, those, those are dragons. Those are dra not quite dinosaurs. Well, maybe this might be a different from Beastly Kingdom before they went. Oh, yeah, they, they, this is the, uh, the Beastly Kingdom to the Dinosaur USA. Well, I mean, that checks out because that one definitely appears to be a slightly off brand Mushu. Yeah. And all was laid to burnation. I like the fake lava slide, though, as part of the inflatable. That's, that's and here we have sports dinosaurs. <laughs> Dino view party room. Do not enter. I feel like this is a kid's zone. Yes, th this is if you booked a birthday party here, which apparently you can at, wor at wonderofdinosaurs.com. So I guess we know we're doing your 36th birthday, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. If I don't have COVID again. <laughs> and a TV that's turned off. Is this a screening for Love and Thunder? <laughs> oh no, this one saw us. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted and honestly better than I expected. <laughs> if I was a child and I found out this was nearby, coming here would be the greatest day of my life. Absolutely. 
<laughs> Honey, can we open one of these in our apartment somehow? I, I, I don't see why not. Ooh, this guy's having a day. Ooh, yeah, he is. Here's just some little friends. Yeah. Just a photo off with the dinosaur saddle. Hello, my name is Tessa the T-Rex. It's our niece, it's honey. It's our niece, yes. I am a girl. I don't like, so please don't pull my teeth over my mouth. I don't like it very much. My favorite root is tacos, and I love the color blue. Parents, please help buckle your child in at your own risk. So if you don't want risk, don't buckle your child in. I'm yes, confused. So. Tessa really has had a day, though. Oh, Tessa. Well, I don't think we are allowed to ride Tessa as full-grown adults. I, I think and I'm too socially anxious to ask. Sorry, we cannot charge phones. Yeah, I mean, it's prehistoric times. Electricity hasn't been invented yet. Speaking of things I would have eaten up as a kid. Make your own stop motion dinosaur movies oh, kit. Oh, that would be very much. You and Nick would be all over this. We would have asked for it for Christmas and we would have played for it for exactly 15 minutes before getting frustrated that it was taking too long to make anything. Wow. Now this is one of those men in black chairs, right? I think so. And outside of the second floor of the Dinosaur Activity Center, there's an arcade with an inflatable alien. Nice. And uh, that looks like that was once a themed entrance to something. <laughs> something princessy, it looks like. Quite possibly. Brain and sensory development in a super fun environment. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, sure. Usually, he, Themed experiences don't sell themselves so clinically. They built an entire store just for a coded message for another spy. Honestly, this looks, uh, put some dinosaurs in here. Oh, yeah. And of course we get classic mall rides, such as horrifying off-brand versions of my coworkers. Oh. Why does Snoopy have flippers? <laughs> Charlie Brown and Lucy are on every window of this thing. There are more many. Meanwhile, Winnie the Pooh is perfectly on brand here. Yeah. Oh, bother. And here's another one of those eggs, except it's a baseball. <laughs> okay, it says LA, even though it looks like Mr. Met's head. It is definitely the Mr. Met's head. Ooh, this ride has a video screen that doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> we got a seahorse carousel, right across from a poster for a place that has actual rides. Yeah. It's from like LA. We have this. And also, they could get, they could apparently clear using Randy's Donuts by name, but they could only get the shape for in and out. Yeah. Okay, happy to have hand sanitizer stations. Don't know how I feel about the messaging of it is your duty as a Californian to hand sanitize instead of washing your hands. Also, there's clearly no sanitizer in here. <laughs> so, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> On any level. Joy, coming soon. I've heard that before, but all I keep getting is misery. <laughs> and of course, the big thing in mall these days, trains that aren't on tracks and just sort of drive around the mall. Yeah. I do like that as a device for like a thing for kids doing malls, but I feel like as a kid, I would have been disappointed that a train was just a car. Oh, for sure. See, unlike the train inside the mall, at least this train is on tracks proper. It's not quite that full trampoline park that's in the Buena Park Mall, but it's a similar run and jump and do little else. It's, it's like get your energy out. It's like... And spend probably an exorbitant amount doing it. You can also come to the party room where you can get your picture with just extremely blown out up res pictures from Encanto. Yeah. It's also um, just a room with party tables, it looks like. Yeah. I'm sure they do other kinds of services, but it does not look like there's like stuff at the party room. Yeah. Then right next to the Skate Farm South Bay, which looks like an actual party room that has things kids might enjoy on at least some level. It's a baby roller rink. Ah, I see. That's super fun. It's an actual roller rink and it's got an arcade and they're just playing songs from 10 years ago. Roller skating, game barn, spa barn, painting barn. What on earth is a spa barn? Probably a place for the parents to like but is it shaped like a barn? <laughs> I, 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 re I need it to be shaped like a barn. I need it to be like a spa just surrounded by hay bales. Galactic challenge on level three. Post your space selfie on Instagram. I like how it just kind of becomes like, you can have a party in multiple spots. Yeah, th this mall is 90% party rooms. And of course they've got the off-brand Dippin' Dots vending machine. Yeah. Another recent staple of malls. 
and a Bitcoin ATM. That's exactly what will get this thing up and running again. Oh, look, this directory has actual ads, not just posters for the vague concept of LA. Yeah. Uh, except this is an ad for buy an ad. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, a cousin of the trains that aren't really trains is the off-brand Tron motorcycles. <laughs> well, honey, what did you think of Dinosaurs or World of Dinosaurs, Explore and Have Fun, or whatever the subtitle was? Yeah, fun. <laughs> I think if I was a kid, I would have loved the hell out of it. I, yeah, I, I think this would have been my favorite thing I had ever been to if I'd been here when I was like five or six. As it was, it was a perfectly pleasant way to spend the afternoon Absolutely. looking at some neat robots, looking at some statues, looking at kids having fun. I'll tell you, one of my favorite discoveries working at Knott's Berry Farm and seeing a lot of children every day is discovering that uh, dinosaurs are still in style. Yeah. Like every, it's never changed. every day I see at least three young boys who are wearing dinosaur shirts. And uh, if I'm working over by Berry Tales, I, I always want to tell them, you know, when I was your age, uh, this ride had dinosaurs in it. But, oh. but then that would disappoint them. Yeah. <laughs> that it doesn't anymore. You but, don't need to make them any sadder than they have to be. Yes. But the fact that dinosaurs are still cool for children, you love to see it. So if you have child and you live in a pleasant distance to uh, Redondo Beach, come down here. It's weird that kids tickets cost more than adult tickets. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. Like they know that they've got kids right where they want them so they can just scam it off of the children's tickets. Absolutely. Basically a warehouse full of dinosaur robots and statues and it's exactly as much fun as you think that'll be. Absolutely. Which is to say for me a lot of fun. So uh, that's what we did on Thursday. Yeah.